Hello students, welcome to my channel Maths Hub. So today I'll talk about the non-exact differential equations and we have talked about the integrating factor type 1. So we will be talking about type 2 integrating factor in this video, right? So let us understand that when do we apply an integrating factor when our equation differential equation is non-exact. So the second case is that whenever we have the differential equation of the kind f1 x comma y and you can take out y common from there dx plus f2 x comma y x dx. So if you just remember that the term with the coefficient of dx is m and the term with the coefficient of dy is n. So that means from m if I can take out y common and from n we can take out x common then we can apply this rule that the integrating factor is 1 upon mx minus ny provided the denominator is not becoming 0 because if the denominator becomes 0 it's so whenever from m we can take out y common and from n we can take out x common then the integrating factor is 1 upon mx minus ny so let's see how this is applicable in some question so the first exercise is we need to solve x square y square plus 2 into y dx plus 2 minus x square y square into x dy is equal to 0. So first of all, let us test whether these equation is a exact differential equation or not. So comparing the coefficient of dx, we'll get m is x square y square plus 2 multiplied by y. So if I open up the brackets, I'll get x square y cube plus 2y. And similarly, what is n? The coefficient of dy is n. So it is 2 minus x square y square multiplied by x. So let's open up the brackets. So we get 2x minus x cube y square. Right? So for testing the exactness, let's calculate curl m by curl y. So curl m by curl y is 3x square y square plus 2. And similarly, what is curl n by curl x? Curl n by curl x is 2 minus 3x square y square. So you can see that curl m by curl y is not equal to curl n by curl x. So the equation is a non-exact differential equation. So we need to search for an integrating factor. So what is our integrating factor? So in our first integrating factor in rule 1, we have seen that if m and n are homogeneous, then we have the integrating factor as 1 upon mx plus ny. So here you can see that it is not homogeneous. Every term is having some other degree, right? But you can see that from m, we can take out y common and from n, we can take out x common. So your integrating factor can be 1 upon mx minus ny, right? So once we learn all the techniques of calculating the integrating factor, you will find that there are more than one integrating factor for a single differential equation. So let us multiply m with x. So when you multiply m with x, we get x cube y cube plus 2xy minus, let us multiply n with y. When you multiply n with y, we get 2xy minus x cube y cube right so when you open up the brackets you will find that 2xy will get cancelled and we will get 1 by 2x cube y cube right so now what is to be done with the integrating factor we multiply our entire equation with the integrating factor to make the non-exact equation into a exact equation right so let's multiply the given equation x square y square plus 2 into y divided by x cube y cube 2x cube y cube this is our dx then we have 2 minus x square y square multiplied by x divided by 2x cube y cube multiplied by dy is equal to 0. So here you can see that you can cancel out one of the factors of y and you can cancel one of the factors of x. So let's split up the terms and write the terms independently. x square y square upon 2x cube y square. So y square will get cancelled, x square will get cancelled and you get the first term as 1 by 2x, right? 
Then the next term will be 2 upon 2x cube y square. So 2 gets cancelled and we get 1 by x cube y square and we have dx here. Right. Next term 2 upon 2x square y cube. So 2 gets cancelled. We have x square y cube minus x square x square cancels. y square will get cancelled and we will get 2y dy is equal to 0. So now this equation is now an exact differential equation, right? So what is our solution? A solution is integration m plus 1 by x cube y square integration with respect to x. Then we need to take those terms of n which do not contain x. So this term will not be considered. So we will only consider minus 1 by 2y dy equal to constant. So, what is the solution then? So, I am writing the solution over here. So, the solution becomes integration of 1 by x is log x plus. So, we have here x to the power minus 3. So, you will get your answer as x to the power minus 2 by minus 2 into y square minus 1 by 2. 1 by y integration is log y. This is equal to constant. So this becomes your, right? So I hope this case is clear how to deal with the integrating factor when you can take out y common from m and x common from n, right? So let's work out another problem and see how this principle works so that it becomes very clear to you. So we have this question now. So first of all, let us calculate m. What is m? I'm just multiplying the terms. So we get m as x into y square plus 2 into x square y cube. And what is n? n is x square y minus x cube y square. Right? So when we calculate curl m by curl y, we get 2xy plus curl m by curl y from here will be 6x square y square. What is curl n by curl x? Curl n by curl x is 2xy minus 3x square y square. So you can clearly see that curl m by curl y is not equal to curl n by curl x. So it is a non-exact differential equation. So let's calculate the integrating factor. So can the integrating factor be 1 by mx plus ny? Can it be 1 plus mx plus ny? No, because you can see that the terms of m and n, they are not homogeneous, right? So, the next possibility that we know is 1 by mx minus ny. Why? Because you can see that from m, you can take out y common and from n, you can take out x common, right? So, let's multiply m with x and n with y. So, we get x squared y square plus 2x cube y cube minus n into y x square y square plus x cube y cube. right so you can see x square y square gets cancelled and we get 1 by 3x cube y cube so let's multiply the integrating factor with the non-exact equation to make it an exact differential equation so when we multiply we get y into xy plus 2x square y square divided by 3x cube y cube dx plus x into xy minus x square y square divided by 3x cube y cube dy is equal to right so let's now divide it by and write the independent terms. So we have x y square upon 3x cube y cube. So you will see that x1 x will get cancelled. So we have 1 by 3x square y square and y cube. So y will be there. Right? Now next term. 2x square. So x square so 2 by 3 1 x will be left. y cube by y cube it will get cancelled. So we have this term with dx 
then let's see what is the term left with dy. So the first term x squared will go off with x cube and 1x is left. y and y cube, y square will be left. Right? Minus. x cube will get cancelled, y square gets cancelled and we have 1 by 3y. dy is equal to Right? So now this is an exact differential equation. So what is the solution of this exact differential equation? The solution says integration 1 by 3x square y plus 2 by 3x integration with respect to x plus integration terms of n not containing x. So we won't consider this term. So we will have minus 1 by 3y dy is equal to constant. Now let's quickly integrate it x will go up, it will be minus 2. So it is x to the power minus 1 by minus 3y plus 2 by 3 integration of 1 by x is log x minus 1 by 3. 1 by y integration is log y. This is equal to. So this comes out to be all. Right? So now practice session questions. So, try these questions. The answers are given there. But in case if you are stuck up with any question, do let me know in the comment section. So, if you like the video, do hit the like button. And those of you who have not subscribed my channel, do subscribe my channel to get the latest updated video. And believe in yourself and you will be able to succeed. Thank you so much.